It was in 1981 that Steve Ovette brought public attention to the Bislett Dream Mile, one of the world's premier athletic events. And each year, the cream of international athletes gather for the chance to run in this and other events on a track where records crumble. Last year, Sebco's long-standing world record was shattered by Steve Cram. And the potential clash between Cram and the world 1500 meters record holder, Saeed Awita, is one of the highlights of this year's international gathering. The Bislett Games, next Saturday at 9.40 on BBC One. Today's events now at Wimbledon 86 and the World Cup. Good evening. The first week of Wimbledon has come to an end, a week in which these championships have enjoyed the best weather for years. And today, the last 16 of both the men's and women's singles were finally settled. The reigning champion himself was in action, nowadays, of course, a veteran of some 18 summers. British interest focused on the ladies' championship with Joe Dury, and Anne Hobbs was battling away as well. And Becker, incidentally, has something else on his mind, apart from tennis at the moment. Score, Boris? What do you think? Um, uh... I go for a 2-1. Uh, you did say for Germany. Yes, of yes. course. But Miss Sabatini from down Argentine Way reckons that her pal Diego will do the business once again. No problema. And on the subject of football, after the tennis tonight, it's the World Cup third place playoff. And that, of course, means the French. And it means the Belgians. Football at around midnight. And if you missed our competition questions over the last few nights, all of them coming up again. Compared to us, blankety blank gift prizes. Now, seriously, ours are jolly good. Jerry picked them himself, didn't you, Jerry? <laughs> well, all right, the scene is sent to court mid afternoon when two men had to do what two men had to do. Boris Becker, the reigning champion and one of the fastest rackets in town, and looking down the barrel of his big serve, Australian Paul McNamee. Now, he's one of the most charismatic players on the circuit, twice a doubles champion here with Peter McNamara. Well, Becker took the first two sets, good quality tennis, with just a single break of McNamee's serve in each sufficient. Third set then, Becker serving at 3-4 down, Mark Cox and John Barrett sweating it out in the commentary box. 